Hello everyone, TJ here, and I'm gaming with Tej. Welcome back to some Rift Breaker. Last time we went to the manufacturing plateau, got our butts kicked all over the place, but we came out on top in the end. Uh, before we get into the video, if you could like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it. Otherwise, yeah, do it to it. Alrighty then, what do we need to do now? Go... Latium. <coughs> I think we need... we'll go here. Some platium or something like that. Figure it out. It's acidic. Not very nice here. But we'll see how it goes. I'm not ready for it, we'll go somewhere else. Superhero drop. Great jump successful. Environmental scanning in progress. Ashley, my senses are indicating a highly acidic atmosphere composition. Caloric acid condensation is definitely abnormal compared to what we've seen in other parts of the planet. Something must be emitting the acid straight into the air. Let's look around to see what we can find. Hey. Gonna look around. What are you guys? Only very top. Anything on this forsaken land is poisonous. What's happening. Oh, the poison throwers. Can't do anything but throw it. Maybe I'm canceling your attack too. Ah. Like ants. Look at all this stuff. The acidic fumes are much denser near this growth. This thing must be responsible for the highly corrosive atmosphere in this area. This life form is multiplying very rapidly. It is subdividing its cells, similarly to Earth-based yeast. The fluid inside these cells is highly corrosive. Please keep a safe distance. There must be much more of this acidic yeast growing here. The orbital scanner report indicated that this entire biome is covered in these fumes. We should study it further before setting up a permanent outpost in this area of the planet. Ashley. I strongly suggest using a bioscanner to gather samples from these life forms. The fluid inside them is a highly condensed acid that can easily burn through my armor. The bioscanner will allow us to gather samples from a safe distance. Poison planet, not nice, got it. Oh, hi guy. What are you doing here? Don't kick me. Getting too slow for me. No one up here. I think we need to kill it. Oh, hi guys. All right. Look at all that stuff. You are not nice. 
Oh no, oh no. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is not the way to go. Not ready for that. <laughs> now I'm ready. Amazing. These red crystals are really huge. Look at how the light is scattering below their surface. It's mesmerizing. They also contain a lot of rhodonite. We can use this mineral to construct high-powered laser emitters for our weapons as well as other equipment. Oops. You already had me convinced at lasers. We definitely need to learn more about these crystals. We should research rhodonite handling as soon as possible. Okay. Any more than we need? Three. Come on. Two more. Okay, that's enough samples to start researching them in the alien research lab. Okay. Interesting. We found traces of palladium inside the acidic yeast samples that we just collected. It might be a good idea to search for larger colonies of this life form. They might indicate the location of higher concentrations of palladium. The acidic yeast colonies that we've observed seem to be corrosive floor. inside the colony. I'd like to study a living colony in its natural habitat to gather more data on how it gathers palladium from the environment. We'll need to construct a local research station near one of the colonies in order to do that. We'll have to download the necessary technology for that building if we don't have it yet. Ashrin, I'm afraid that the research station will not be able to scan the colony from a safe distance. It would have to be placed very close to the root of the colony to work properly. We will not okay. be able to build anything that close to the root without being overwhelmed by its growth. Especially given the fact that we do not want to destroy it. Oh boy. I think that we can prevent the colony from overgrowing our base by covering the soil with a structure that the acidic yeast can't grow on. Standard floor tiles are going to be corroded by the colony. Slice and slice and slice. We know the type of acid that this life form is producing. We can research special anti-corrosive flooring that will protect oh, the We just need to build the research station on the anti-corrosive floor tiles. Nice. Look at this. And then we're gonna go switch probably our research. Research. Oh, we can do it. We don't even have to go back. I forgot about that. Okay, that's a mini nuke. Put that on there. Head up to the top that up to the top and that up to the top nice all right now wait
new technology has been developed. Experimental shielding. Available for crafting. Oh, we can do it right here. All right. My sensors are indicating an imminent release of acidic gases. The ground is opening up. Watch out for corrosive gas. <laughs> A new technology has been developed. Orbital scanning completed. We have located a large colony of acidic yeast. I have marked the rift jump coordinates on the planetary scanner interface. Warning. It is recommended to develop acidic shielding before visiting that location. It is going to be difficult to survive there without... I don't even need to go to that place. Excellent. The acidic gas is dispersing. The eruption is over. It's hard to say how often these may happen. Oh, so I don't need to do anything here. Alright, well, I guess we're out of here. Okay, we'll have to come back here. Go then. I am. All right. Rift jump successful. I am detecting multiple acidic yeast colonies nearby. They are larger than the ones we have seen before and are growing at a faster rate. Good. We need to get close to the central root of one of these colonies and construct a research station near it. This isn't going uh. to be easy. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for We've finished researching road night handling. We can start researching new laser-based weapons and towers. They are going to be an excellent addition to our arsenal. However, we will first have to gather some road night to craft a new gear. The red crystals that contain road night are relatively common in the acidic plains biome. However, I detected an interesting location with a much above normal condensation of their growth. There should uh, be a lot of rhodonite in that area. I've marked the rift jump coordinates on the orbital scanner interface. Excellent. Let's go there as soon as we secure the current objective. We shall. We're gonna base set up first. An acidic yeast colony root nearby. You can check its location on the map. All right. Uh, 
Oh. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction. Borders. Good spot. Go. All right.
we go. Now we need some defenses. Where are those for start? We also on. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. <laughs> Cobalt is gone dry. Sort that out pretty quick. wind speed. This may affect our wind turbines. Job. The wind is very slow today. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Right. After this is done, we're going to probably go back to the cobalt before we get carried away here. Or no, you know what? Let's just go this way. We got a base. up again. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Bonian. Go this way. Oh my goodness. The big boy.
Slice and dice. Species discovered. Alrighty then. Nice. has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. I couldn't even see. I was blind. I couldn't even see what I had just researched. Okay. Oh, hi. Big. Oh, that's not cool. What in the hell? This is where I need to be. They destroy the roots, too. Oh, hi, guys.
Okay, so that's uh one of the things, right? me. Alright, that should work. This is what I needed it to do. Like the weather is calming down. Wind is getting slower. The wind is very slow. I don't know. We'll see if this wind works. Turbine efficiency is not going to be that great. I don't think this is it. This looks like the central route of the colony. And now we have to build a research station close to it to start the scanning procedure. Remember that we can block the growth of the colony by placing anti-corrosive floor tiles around it. It would be advised to build our entire base on anti-corrosive floor. Feedback. Geothermal vent. Nice. I need... Yeah, we'll do it like this. Alright. 
Research lab operational. Acidic yeast scanning in progress. Great. Now we just have to maintain power to the research lab and let it gather the necessary data. I don't think I can destroy it, so that's good. Increased movement around our position. We should prepare to defend the research laboratory. A new technology has been developed. Should I got to call out before I left? For construction. The technology queue is idle. Select new technologies for development. I need repair turrets if I can. No, I cannot. Prepare yourself. Fissures are opening up and are erupting with highly corrosive gas. We won't be able to build anything within these clouds. Oh. All right. Probably can't build anything at the moment, so. What I do need is, uh. The technology is idle. Select new technologies for development. Alright. Let's go to technology. Close all. Air tower. Element mining. Armory. The eruption is over. The situation is stabilizing. I need more power now. Should hold it. <laughs> Base is under attack. Under attack by. That attack just get annihilated or what? Oh no. What was I gonna help? World War Three over here. through analyzing the root of the acidic yeast colony. The data is already looking very promising. Ashley, since you built up our research station in this area, I've noticed a change in the growth vector of the acidic yeast colonies around us. 
It appears that all of them are slowly growing in our direction. Bye. That's very interesting. It looks like we've been recognized as a threat. The colonies are trying to devour our base. Not if I have anything to do about it. Miss Base says no, that's for sure. <laughs> Goodness. All right, let's go heal. Wind is slowing down. The air is getting dense. A fog is forming up. Ooh. It's hard to see anything in this fog. It's also affecting our solar panels and wind turbines. We have to wait it out. Alright. Alright, no Vermeer. Now that should slow it down. Artillery. <laughs> the research lab has finished gathering data. Objective completed. The data that we've gathered proves that this life form can digest even the smallest traces of palladium. Palladium normally doesn't react with most acids, but this life form uses a highly concentrated form of fluoric acid that is heated up by the creature's metabolic process. We can program the orbital scanner to analyze the growth patterns of the acidic yeast colonies. This should help us in finding palladium deposits that these colonies are moving towards. Under attack. Affirmative, Ashley. Orbital scanning in progress. Analyzing acidic yeast growth patterns. All right. Orbital scanning finished. We have found something interesting. There are a I'm pretty sure we're going to disband this base. Entirely surrounded by the yeast colonies. Spectral analysis confirms that palladium should be present there. However, the yeast is actively avoiding these zones. Interesting. If there's palladium there and they aren't interested in it, then something might be preventing them from growing in that area. We should prepare for the unexpected. I'm gonna go. Time to go. No need to even have this anymore. Mission complete.
now we need to go to our uh, cobalt mining outpost. Clearly not getting any of that. Going on, base. Okay, just round up the last of that. Seems to be out. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Let's go find some more. Plutonium. again. Let's see what that does. That's probably from that thing. Ooh, that's not cool. Alright. 
Ranger! A hostile swarm is moving in on our base. They are almost upon us. Bam! What are kind of stars now? I am sensing distant thunder strikes. They are getting closer. Prepare for a thunderstorm. Okay. Cool. The storm is getting really intense. Do what that does. Find some more. The storm is over. where I'm actually useful. Hold on. Like a Gundam in this thing.
Okay. All that there, why not? Are you? You guys are not nice. An energy connector has been destroyed. A building has been destroyed. Stop. Power destroyed. Oh. Yeah, then. And some more cobalt, then. Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Okay. Oh, 
something like that. <laughs> alright. I think I'll be alright for a while. Unless I see one on my way. This is some cobalt in general. Slice and dice. Get this and then we'll probably call it. Can I not build an extra power thing here? Oh. Oh. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this one. We went to the acid planet, got our butt kicked there a little bit, but had some fun. And then we fixed our cobalt situation. It's been some Rift Breaker. I'm TJ. And I'm Tej. Gaming with Tej. Like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Really would appreciate it. See you in the next one.